Education, Youth Education Award is to Arthur and Joan Stoller from New York. Well, the story is that Joan went to California and saw Trout in the Classroom and came back with the vision and the energy to start really pushing Trout in the Classroom in the New York City area. And for those of you who have been to New York, uh, as you might have thought, as I did, New York City doesn't seem to be a natural fit for Trout in the Classroom. But amazingly, because of people like the Stolliers, it has become a, the real hotbed for Trout in the Classroom across the country. Now, Joan, who started it all, is not with us here, unfortunately, anymore. She's not with us. But Arthur, her husband, has really carried on this great trout in the classroom push in New York City and, and the surrounding areas. And it is, is a, a great a bastion of trout in the classroom, it's producing many kids who are connected to the cold water resource because of them. Uh, and we really are glad to honor Arthur Stoller here today. But the award is to Arthur and John Stoller. So Arthur, please have a chance here today with us, no question. It's uh, the last, last evening I met Charles Gallivan, and it's been about 19 years since the last time I met him. Joan and I were fishing on the uh, West Branch of the Delaware, and uh, we met this young couple. The gentleman was uh, heading to Washington to take over his new job as president of Trotter Moon. And, uh, he certainly did a, a marvelous job making this organization flourish and a great feature. And uh, Charles even remembered our guide's name. And uh, unfortunately, he remembered that he didn't, despite the, the uh, stonefly hatch, he didn't do very well. <laughs> it's, uh, as you know from various articles in TU Magazine, this one, Teaching Trout in the Classroom. Trout in the Classroom is not a, not a trout racing program, it's an environmental program. And uh, if you want to read about it, read it in our publication. It's uh, also, they're not political, they're not partisan. You don't ask for public funds. In fact, our partnership has been the EPA, the DEPs, the DECs, and the other acronyms of government agencies. There's a side story here. Uh, earlier, Kim Estes Freitas got an award. Kim Estes Freitas is Deputy Director of the Department of Education for the New York City DEP. Uh, DEP. And the side story is that TU is now suing DEP. And uh, yet, this is a, a good, good, good arrangement. We all respect each other and we do things that we have to do. It's uh, the government agencies benefit from trial and classroom by getting direct access to the students. And we benefit from them by getting our eggs. We're getting 50,000 of them on October 13th to distribute to the teachers. We get permits, licenses to take insects from the rivers. We get permits to put the, the stock streams. That's what happens when you put the finger wings back in the stream. It happens to be called stocking. 